Hello, hello, hello. It is Wednesday, May 29. It is currently 1.18 p.m. I just finished having some lunch. I just had a little bit of soup that I made last night. Baby girl is joining me for my meal. I went ahead and put some of the veggies that were in the soup. I just set aside some potatoes, some zucchini, and I mashed it up. She is in her little high chair making a little mess over here. We really try our best to have her eat with us a little bit while we're eating. It's been so cute and adorable to eat together as a family. She wants to get out of here, so we are going to wrap this up and go to the grocery store. I'm currently breastfeeding feeding her with solid foods i don't really feed her a lot i just feed her enough to taste new veggies new fruits she's still mainly on breast milk oh my gosh why are you kicking me don't be rude to mama but i'm going to finish feeding her and then i want to head over to the grocery store we're gonna see how it goes last time she started screaming in the middle of the store so i'm a little bit scared but we're going to we're gonna be okay Honestly, going out with my child is still a little bit intimidating to me when I'm doing it alone because I feel like there's just so many things to prep and to make sure you have and to make sure it's in order before you leave the home. Even when my husband is with me and we're doing it together, it's still a little bit of a rush and very chaotic for sure. I try to just create systems of like, doing the same thing over and over each time so that I can do a quick mental check and I'm less likely to forget things that way. For example, I always put the diaper bag and the car seat in the same place in the home. I make sure that I am always like stocked up in our diaper bag so that we're not like forgetting important essential things like diapers. So some essentials that I like to have in our diaper bag, just like this nursing cover, because I never know when I'm going to need to nurse in public or out in my car or something. So this just makes sure that I'm covered. I do have this little bag where I like to keep her bottle warmer. It's currently not in here. It's currently charging somewhere, but that bottle warmer is very important because whenever I need to heat my milk on the go, I absolutely cannot forget that because our baby, she hates lukewarm milk. She hates cold milk. We definitely got her used to very warm milk from the get-go, which was a mistake. Obviously, baby wipes, those are important. Some diapers, check. And burp cloths, essential, something to wipe them because things do get crazy. I always like to make sure that I'm carrying extra teethers because baby girl is teething right now. I do have these like pacifier wipes. I use these to clean her teething toys. And I do try to take an extra change of clothes just in case of emergencies. I'm gonna go grab that right now. And honestly, I have like a bunch of my makeup in here. I do have like her diaper rash cream, a nose aspirator, some hand sanitizer. I typically carry extra bottles, things like that. But like I said, it's gonna be a quick trip, I'm hoping. So no bottles today, I haven't pumped. So I'm just gonna hope that she doesn't get too hungry. And if she does, I'll just breastfeed her in the car. Everything is ready. Let me make sure I have my wallet. My wallet is in there, check. Come on, 
Come on, my big girl. You're just so big. We're gonna go explore. In the last couple of times that we've gone to the grocery store, I do have her on the baby carrier. I kind of want to try to put her in the grocery cart today. I do think she's ready. I definitely think she can do it. She's ready. I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> my camera just died. Every time I'm going to film, every time I decide it's a filming day, my camera has no battery. The intimidating part about going out alone with the baby is that you have to carry so many things. Like right now I have her carrier. I have all the grocery bags. And then my child is down here in her little car seat. <laughs> Another thing that I always second guess myself on is whether or not I clicked her car seat properly or if I buckled her up properly. It's always a case that I did, but that's always a thing when I'm driving. I'm like, oh my God, did I do this? Did I do that? Also a playlist that she loves on Spotify, it's called Happy Baby Mix. And these days that's all that we listen to. I only listen to baby music. It's been a while since I listened to music that isn't for children. Back home now, I ended up putting her on the grocery cart. It was her first time on the grocery cart. She's being fussy because she's hungry. So let me wrap this up. All I was gonna say is that it was her first time and it was so special. I was taking pictures of her all over the grocery store and people were looking at me like, what is going on with this girl? Little did they know, it is just her first time and the first times are so special. It is 4.15 p.m. Baby girl just went down for a nap and I really wanted to take a nap myself because I'm very tired, but I'm thinking I'd rather just keep it moving. I don't know what it is, but these last couple of days I've just been unmotivated to get things done. Like it comes in waves, but I definitely noticed that. So that's typically for me, at the start of the week so mondays i'm just like so slow to get things done i don't have the desire to get things done tuesday things start like ramping up wednesday i'm good and then thursday typically i'm tired from the week and then friday i'm pumped because you know it's friday but this past weekend because it was a long weekend it was memorial day weekend i think it kind of threw me off and so it's taking me a little bit longer than usual to get back into my rhythm and then last week as well my husband and i were waking up at 5 a.m to work out so that also kind of made me a little bit more tired because we're still getting used to it this week we haven't been able to wake up at 5 a.m because baby girl's schedule has kind of shifted before she was sleeping the night whereas these days she's waking up like at 3 a.m sometimes she wakes up at 5 which is typically when we would have been working out so because our sleep has been kind of all over the place we aren't putting too much pressure if it gets done great if not we're not going to beat ourselves up about it on these very low motivation type days i just like to move really slowly because typically that sort of gets the ball rolling it builds up the momentum needed to get into more of a flow productivity state mm -hmm. Get the ball rolling i'm going to go ahead and put away the rest of the items from the grocery store i don't really want to do the dishes yet because baby girl is still down for a nap and i feel like sometimes when i do the dishes things tend to slip things tend to get noisy i don't want to wake her up i'm probably just going to unload the dishwasher because everything in here is clean i'm going to just lay it out to put it away later but at least i get some progress going <laughs>
Okay, I unloaded the dishwasher. Now what I think I'm going to do is that I'm going to organize the area under the sink here just because I slowly am trying to tackle our problem areas. So just like these spaces that tend to get cluttered and messy and that definitely need tending to. This past weekend I actually spent quite a while kind of rearranging certain spaces in the home. I guess it's not that bad, but I definitely feel like this can be organized a little bit better. I feel like some of these things are not properly arranged. It's just really hard to go back in there and look for whatever we need. just woke up as soon as I started taking stuff out so let's go grab her put baby girl in her little activity center just so it buys me a little bit of time okay i just did like the quickest organization little session because i was afraid baby girl was going to start crying so i did the best i could so basically i just went ahead and organized that back box a little bit better but in the front here i just left the things that i use more consecutively or more regularly any of our little brushes then i do have our cleaning vinegar and disinfecting spray. Our Clorox is in the back there. And then here I have some laundry detergent. The OxyClean is under that. And then our fabric softener back there. So everything is looking a little bit more organized. I think that will do for now. This is the activity center that baby girl has been playing in ever since she was about five-ish months. But for sure, once she was six, she was able to like support herself. We do have this playpen that we've been using just recently and I do like it I feel like it contains her because what was happening is that now she's rolling a lot so she would just be rolling all over the floors but yeah this usually buys me about half an hour so I can go ahead and finish doing up any tasks just like I was doing right now and when she's tired of this I like to transfer her over here because here she can roll around a little bit more and she'll play with her toys and that's kind of what has been working for us we do want to buy her a larger playpen just because I do think that she has a lot of energy and I would like her to be able to roll around more. She's going to start crawling soon so I want something that she can just be in for a little bit longer without getting bored. Hi mama! So right now I think I'm going to transfer her over to her playpen and see if she will stay there and play there for a little bit so I can actually go ahead and load the dishwasher because... <laughs> I did mention that we have a lot of dishes to wash. You ready, baby girl? And I also just got a message from my husband that he's on his way home. So oh, thank God for that. It's currently 5.30 and we miss him. We miss daddy, huh? You miss daddy. Do you want to play in your little playpen? One, two, three. Here you go. I just put baby girl in her playpen, but I don't think she wants to be in there. I think she wants to hang out with mommy for a little bit. Okay, so a lot of times I just kind of got have to like gauge where she's at because like even though I set like my little routines Yeah <laughs> Even though I set my little routines like okay activity center first play pen second It's not always gonna be perfect. She's not always gonna want that. So I always just gauge to see where, what she wants Sometimes it's a little bit hard to gauge what she wants like sometimes she won't show clear signs of being hungry or of being tired There's times where like she'll be up for a long time and she still doesn't seem tired But then I go and try to put her down for a nap anyway, and she knocks out Instantly every day is different, you know with a baby So that's what keeps me on my toes for someone like me. That's a very type a and I like to Have everything planned. I definitely feel that 
I've learned so much from her. <laughs> I've just learned so much from her because before it was just like, okay, I have a plan. I'm going to stick to it. Let's go. I just like sticking to my plan. And sometimes life just doesn't have to be that way. I think she's definitely taught me so much about adapting, about being fluid, about just being more dynamic with my day-to-day. -day. It has been a really hard lesson, I'm not gonna lie, just because it's not in my nature to do that, but she's been teaching me a lot about going with the flow and enjoying the present moment more, rather than trying to like plan everything to the T. But I'm looking outside because my husband is home now. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit. So we're gonna go greet him. Let's go say hi to Dada. Hello, it is now the next day. It is May 30th. It is currently 1.15 p.m. I pretty much worked from 8 to like 12.30 and now I just finished putting baby girl to sleep. I'm currently in the office. I'm taking care of some personal emails, just some things that have to be taken care of. I'm going to try try to wrap up these to-dos so that I can start editing a YouTube video. I struggle with the editing portion, doing that quickly. I do record content on a frequent, consecutive, consistent basis, but it's just the editing that takes me a while. Ideally, I would like to be posting weekly and I do have the content for that. Like I do generate the content for that but it's just a matter again of me having time to edit that but yeah right now my youtube schedule in terms of what i post has shifted a little bit i used to post specific monthly videos like one of the monthly videos that i used to post was my monthly check-in my monthly reset but right now it's really hard for me to film sit down videos the limiting factor is really just sitting down and having like a long stretch of time that I can use to film these videos. The other type of video that I used to post monthly was the no spend week video. So this type of video consisted of me not spending on non-essential items or trying not to and then I would post my experience. I do want to share that we still do that. We still do no spend week. I think the last one I posted was for March. For April, I actually filmed some footage but I just didn't have time to to edit by the time like april was over and for me we didn't do a no spend week but we did do a no eating out month we only ate out for mother's day which is already like accounted for but anyway the point of all this is just like even though i'm not filming that specific content i'm still doing my monthly resets i'm still doing my no spend weeks or no spend months or whatever the case is so i am still doing those things things i just haven't had time to film for those specific videos because those are monthly like they kind of have a deadline it's just hard for me to meet that deadline right now where i'm at with my schedule with baby girl with working from home right now i don't want to put that pressure on myself i hope that in the future i'll be able to have those type of videos again on my channel but for now i'm really enjoying just the more relaxed days in my life but anyway 
just wanted to provide a little bit of an explanation as to where I'm at right now, why I haven't filmed that type of content and kind of what's to come of my channel. And I think for now it's going to be definitely this type of content that won't be permanent, that won't be forever, but that's just where I'm at right now. And ultimately this channel is a reflection of my life, like my life phases. So I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm just gonna ride the wave, not too much pressure because then it's not fun. Again, this is my hobby and I wanna keep it fun and enjoyable. I'm gonna go ahead and try to wrap some things up and then hopefully I can get a quick editing session in. It's been about half an hour or so. I took a little bit longer than expected on just some administrative things that I had to take care of. So with that said, I can hear baby girl waking up. I am going to start her wake window and usually like for the first half hour, depending on the mood that she wakes up in, she might be up for playing on her own. If she is, then I'll go ahead and kind of get the ball rolling with some YouTube editing. If she woke up in a bad mood, <laughs> she's gonna want me to hold her and kind of like ease her into a good mood so let's go get baby girl the baby girl got to facetime her grandma she's in a good mood so i put her in her activity center and i'm just gonna grab my laptop and try to do a little bit of editing let's see how far i get so i'm going to just be watching her while she plays hi excited baby yeah you play oh my god <laughs> she gets so excited try to get a quick little power session in like 10 to 15 minutes it's fine hey i'm right here i'm right here yes don't cry want to get closer you want to get closer i bring her closer to me and i'm going to just try to do a little something something let's see how far we get I just spent about 45 minutes breastfeeding baby girl and trying to put her down for a nap. She had fallen asleep in my arms and as soon as I tried putting her down in her crib, she woke up and she was not trying to go back to sleep. And that's one of the things is that a lot of the day is actually spent on prepping a baby for a nap. Like sometimes by the time my husband gets home, I look around and I'm oftentimes like, oh my God, I didn't get anything done. Like I'm gonna have to take care of things during the evening now. Like what did I do with my whole day? But then I have to remind myself that I work for half of the day and that after that, it does take time to to feed baby girl, put her down for a nap. Sometimes it's not successful. Sometimes it could take up to an hour and then she just won't go down. So I don't know if any of you struggle with this, if any of you new moms struggle with this. Let's see, that's my phone. Anyway, that is my husband calling me. I'm pretty sure he's almost home. I'm gonna answer this. I was able to at least clean up the kitchen a little bit. And 
and I am now feeling a little bit tired. I think I'm gonna have another coffee because I don't want to nap. Ideally, I would take a nap. It's just not gonna happen for me today. My husband's almost here, and once he's here, I just wanna spend time with him and my baby girl, so I usually, if I do nap, I try to nap with her, but that didn't happen today. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a coffee. I typically have about two coffees per day, but each coffee, I make it very diluted. It's not very strong. Hi, come on. You wanna see mama? Hi, <laughs> she's in her little pack and play right now. But anyway, I typically do have two coffees. The reason I have coffee is for the taste, obviously also for the burst of energy. But sometimes I just really want the taste of coffee without being too energized. So, no. Here you go. So these days, because typically I am craving a coffee in the afternoon as well, I'll just have one very weak coffee in the morning, and then right now, typically 4 or 5 p.m., I'll have another very weak coffee so that I'm not overdoing it. But yeah, I'm gonna make my coffee and also play with a little girl while that is happening. Hello, it is Friday, a Friday afternoon. It is 3.17 p.m. Baby girl is in the activity center. We actually just came back inside. We were outside for a while. After I finished working from home, I decided we need to get outside. Even though I didn't want to, I was kind of in a slump, but it's important that baby girl and I get out of the house. We were out there for quite some time because first I was just taking her on a little stroll in our backyard. Yeah. <laughs> then I started clipping some of our plants just because they were getting a bit out of control. I also look crazy. Don't mind me. I haven't put on makeup today and my hair is a mess, but it was just so hot out there that I just like quickly threw my hair up in a bun and I didn't really notice how ridiculous it looked. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished breastfeeding her. I think she's still hungry and she's definitely sleepy. But you guys, I am feeling no motivation whatsoever. And sometimes I get into these little slumps in which I just do not want to do anything But you just have to keep going when you're a parent. I'm learning that you just have to Summons the energy from somewhere because there's no other option. You have to keep going You want to say something? What do you want to say? You made it very bright, Zyra. You just wanted it more bright? Okay. Bye. <laughs> it is nap time for the little one. I'm hoping she will go down without a fight. Okay, baby girl went down for a nap. My husband should be home within half an hour. I am thinking that I am going to edit a little bit of my YouTube video that I'm working on before he gets here so that once he's here, we can start thinking about having an early dinner because I'm actually pretty hungry. Mm -hmm. 
I just finished editing the video that I was working on, which was the Mother's Day weekend video. And now I am just transferring all of the footage from my camera to my laptop. And all of that footage is for this video that I am now filming. I'm done with the rough editing of the Mother's Day weekend. I still need to go back and make sure everything's okay. So like my second round of editing. And then after that, I like to go in a third round and add in any text and add in the music. For now, I think because it's already five, it's a little past five, my husband's about to get home. I am hungry. So I think I'm going to put pause on this for now and then hopefully get another editing round. Later today, my goal was to post this by tonight, but if I don't get to it tonight, then hopefully by tomorrow, Saturday. We will see. It is now midnight. I accomplished my goal. I finished editing my YouTube video. I'm now waiting for it to be posted on YouTube. I showered, did a little bit of skincare. I'm actually not that tired, but I know if I try hard enough, I will end up knocking out. Tomorrow is a new day. I look forward to it. It's Saturday. Let's go get some rest.
this coffee right here. This very coffee size, what, small? $10, including tip. I make it Unbelievable. At home for like $2. This is why we make our coffee at home. Happy Sunday. It is 7.45 a.m. I woke up like around 3 or 4 a.m. to see baby girl. It's really loud because the white noise machine is on. But anyway, I was gonna go back to sleep, but I think I might just start my day. My husband and baby girl are out in the kitchen. I think my husband's cooking breakfast. I'm gonna get out of bed and join him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick body shower. I was gonna wet my hair, but we might do some yard work later on after church. We're gonna try to go to church at 10 a.m. I wanna just maybe wash my hair later on today. So let's take a quick body shower. So it is now 1 p.m. We have been back from church for a while. Baby girl actually fell asleep at church, so everything was calm. Sometimes I get really nervous when she starts screaming. <laughs> so I just put baby girl down for a nap. My husband went to the grocery store because we needed a couple of things. Mainly we want to make some hamburgers today in our backyard. We want to have a little barbecue. I'm a little bit bummed because it's actually very gloomy outside but it's fine we're gonna roll with it last night we actually ended up going to bed super late i actually ended up organizing cleaning till pretty late because i was just really motivated i just felt the inspiration the urge to continue and i don't always feel that so if i do feel that sensation i'm gonna run with it because i don't know when i'm gonna feel it again and then at night we ended up starting a movie really late it was like past 11. i was up to like 1 a.m because we are gonna decide to do more of a restful day today since yesterday it wasn't as restful i'm going to be ending the video here thank you so so much for watching this video and if you're new here please subscribe to my channel i have several other videos if you like this one i have many others that are similar to this one so you can go ahead and watch some of those while you wait for me to post a new video i'll see you in the next one bye